Hello world, this is Ranifix. In today's video, we're going to be discussing smart meters and these radiation shields. If you guys have checked out my other video about some of these smart meters, I had one on my old house and I removed it and I actually saw a reduction in my consumption and so I moved to a new house and I wanted to see if I can actually lessen my exposure to some of the RF frequencies by using this radiation shield so in this video today we're going to be doing some measurements before and after using this meter here and this is is from latinx and it's an all-in-one meter here and what you want to do is test it out on rf so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and put this right next to the smart meter in the same location twice once without the cover and once with the cover so you guys can get a reading for yourselves all right so the first time we're going to go ahead and let this roll in the same distance and this meter does not currently have the shield on it and we're gonna see how the readings go and I'll actually show you this next to my Wi-Fi router and we'll test the location in the house where I normally sleep just to see if there's any difference with and without the shield all right now we're next to my router just so you guys get an idea on what's happening and this is my net gear and we're gonna go ahead and just leave this right on top and my router is currently turned up to 50% power so I actually like to operate it at a little bit less power than full strength just because I have pretty decent coverage in the house. And as we step back, you'll actually see the single strength decrease. So this is right next to my bed here. I'm gonna take a measurement. And currently we are between seven to about 13 when you get a little bit closer to the wall because the smart meter is about eight feet under this on the side of the house and in case you were ever curious to see if your bluetooth headphones were putting out a strong signal near your brain when it's inside your ear canal check this out We are at 50, 32 milliwatt squared, so that's actually a really strong signal. Distance can definitely play a key role uh, in safe usage of some of these Bluetooth and Wi-Fi devices, so keep that in mind. And now we're gonna go ahead and install this. And I happen to have a standard size smart meter here, so installation is gonna be really easy. And if you have a smaller smart meter, they do come with some kit that you can actually go ahead and make this fit better. But mine is really simple. I just need to go ahead and tighten down that screw right there. And these are the other hardware they include in case you have a smaller meter. So they got some foam tape here that's basically got some kind of adhesive which I don't have to use for that and this is supposed to be only used on an electrical smart meter not a gas or water and I have a little cutout on the side for the clip right there so this is gonna be super easy so just fill up screwdriver So I got it nicely installed. You can see this is not going anywhere. And you're still able to go ahead and make out the numbers there, but it's not very clear. They're somewhat readable. All right guys, so you guys are probably wondering if it made a difference. So let's go ahead and try this out. 
with the actual RF shield on here to see what we notice. And as we notice, this thing is definitely working because I'm not getting anywhere near the same readings as I was before. And this is quite impressive. And it only took a few minutes. And I'm gonna get pretty close to here. But let me go ahead and push right next to here. Nothing like before. And if I distance myself a little bit more, you can see that the reading is dropping off dramatically. And if I position this in the same way as I did before, I had inside this little cabinet, just like that, we're able to see. We got pretty low readings, very, very cool. So let's go check out the location in my bedroom that's near my head when I sleep. All right, so I'm next to my bed now here again, and the reading is a little bit lower. I'm at six versus before, I think it was about seven. Overall, really great results at the meter. All right, guys, as you guys can see, we definitely got better results with the shield on. And if you guys wanna try this test for yourself, make sure you get a tester or that actually measures RF. The one here on the left, the smaller one is one that I was able to pick up for under 30 bucks. However, it does not do RF. So you definitely wanna spend a little bit of money and grab yourself a decent RF tester. And um, I'll have a link to some other ones that I actually found were a little bit more helpful and including this one so you guys could try them out for yourselves. All right guys, well there you have it. We definitely saw some results with the radiation shield on here. And I appreciate you guys watching. I'll keep you guys posted to let you know if I got any notices from my utility company that I need to get this removed. And I'm looking forward to seeing how it can make a difference in the house. I appreciate you guys again. Give it a thumbs up if it was helpful. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. It really helps me out. Let's YouTube know that my videos are helpful. Hey guys, I wanted to give you guys a five month update. So far, I have not received any notice from my utility company that I need to remove the radiation shield. So that's definitely good news. And one thing that wasn't shown very clearly in the video is that the radiation shield really does a good job of keeping the spikes of the smart meters uh, limited because if you watch the video, you'll see spikes occurring every now and then. And so I really think this is a great investment for your house. It's a little peace of mind that you need and I appreciate you guys watching again I'm gonna have that video down below on how I actually removed the smart meter in my previous residence and you can too it's really simple and I'll have a link to that in the description box below now I would love to hear from you guys on how you feel about some of this technology such as the smart meters and if you are gonna be removing yours or you plan on removing yours or Maybe installing just a radiation shield like that. Let me know, guys. I would love to hear from you. Thanks.